So if you can get really good at counterattacking, that is the best way to play against a banger. That's how you draw a hard hitter into the dinking game. You have probably encountered somebody that people might call a banger. What do you do against said banger? Maurice, why are you smiling? I don't know if we're gonna be able to get through this whole video. He's, he's <laughs> laughing over there. So what do you do? How do you beat somebody that's just speeding everything up? And why does it work for them to do that? All right, well in today's video, we're gonna show you how to punish those people that just hit everything hard and make them play the dink game. <laughs> we tried to film some work where he was just hitting me a bunch and we can't be serious enough to do it. So just imagine me getting hit a bunch by pickleballs. So obviously when my opponent is speeding the ball up at me, we wanna slow down the banger, right? In the words of our 45th president. Wrong. All day. Reset. 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 Oh. oh no. Reset. 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 Oh, oh that I got that in. one. Damn. I'm actually pr pretty decent at resets, but if I'm just resetting everything, what does that show my opponent? All it shows them is that I'm no threat. They can attack at me all the time. They can attack at me constantly. No matter how low the ball is, they can speed it up at me, and all I'm gonna try and do is soften the ball up. Well, if that's the case, they're just gonna keep hitting it hard at me. So while common knowledge is to slow down the person that is banging, actually what you wanna do is punish them for attacking the wrong shot. Shit! And I give him one of those instead. Then he's gonna think twice. Then he's gonna be like, okay, maybe I gotta do this dinking stuff. The price is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that actually brings the player into the dinking game. That's actually how I learned to dink. I started out playing and I was definitely a banger, but I played against some people who, rather than slowing the ball down, they punished me for hitting the wrong shots. And then that actually forced me to try and play the dink game. So a drill that I like to do to work on my counter attacking is my partner and I are gonna be straight ahead from one another and I'm going to only be counterattacking. I'm not initiating any speed ups. And eventually, I'm gonna give my partner a ball that he can attack. Once he attacks, I'm going to look to counter punch and we're gonna play the point out from there, okay? So we're dinking. You're looking for a ball that you can attack. But something important to note is my paddle position when I think that he's going to attack. My ready position is, is nice and high because that ball is likely going to come in right around my chest. I have a whole nother video dedicated to discussing ready position. I'll link it in the description. If you're struggling with this drill, that might be a good place to start as well. So my paddle position is nice and high and I'm still, even though Maurice is going to attack that ball at me, I'm still on my, my toes. I'm still leaning in so that I can punch this ball back rather than leaning back and trying to reset that shot. So if you can get really good at counterattacking, that is the best way to play against a banger. That's how you draw a hard hitter into the dinking game. Not by trying to slow them down, because slowing them down doesn't teach them a lesson. Teach them a lesson by counterattacking and forcing them to dink. Send this to a friend that sucks at dinking. <laughs> Send this to your banger friend.